It's about to move in, and Ecca Road and Kiji Phoenix will complete the line. So Emerald Kingdom, last favourite of the day, as Kiji Phoenix lines in. Stand by for race nine, red light turned on. Favourites Emerald Kingdom. Here we go. Set now. Right to go. Racing, Emerald Kingdom away well. Likewise, Shell War, Invincible Gangster, Perfect Dame, Starboy is handy as well, and Boomtown Lass going forward. Next one, Defence Missile, drifting back as KG Phoenix on the outside of Ecker Rose, second last on Birdo. Last of all, Simply Splashing. So Emerald Kingdom is the leader from Boomtown Lass on the outside. Three lengths away, third, Shell War on the outside of Invincible Gangster, Starboy exposed three wide. A length and a half, two, Perfect Dame, Defence. Miss Al Ecker Road, Kiji Phoenix Umberto creeping forward three wide second last and last of all is simply splashing Emerald Kingdom at the 500 metres marker led the way from Boomtown Lass and three lengths away thirds Invincible Gangster Shell Wah swings in fourth and fifth the outside Starboy and Kiji Phoenix is the widest in defence Miss Al and perfect name back near the inside Emerald Kingdom still the leader the outside Boomtown Lass up to third is Kiji Phoenix Shell Wah the next one Emerald Kingdom the inside Boom Boomtown Lass the outside, Emerald Kingdom kicking, it's in front of Boomtown Lass, KG Phoenix and Defence Missile, Emerald Kingdom in front, he's highly promising, wins again, Emerald Kingdom by length on the line to KG Phoenix and Boomtown Lass, Defence Missile, Perfect Dame, Shell Wah, Invincible Gangster, Simply Splashing, Ecker Road, Umberto and Starboy had a torrid run and dropped down to finish at the back of the field. That's five wins on the trot, every it's win gets better doesn't it, better and better. He had to work a little bit. Shalwa was kicking up underneath him and then he had Boomtown lass at him on the outside. But you pointed out when we were watching it there, he was able to back it off for a couple of hundred coming down the side. Yeah, he just had probably a, an easy maybe two to three hundred metres, just put him back on the steer, let this big athletic guy sort of regroup, find that mid-race mojo. And you knew when Robbie was sort of being towed around that home turn. Look at him, he's still towing him, uh, yeah. pulling up. He is a divine horse to even watch, this guy. Have a look at his lean, athletic uh, build that he's got. Massive stride and great will to win. Not many horses win five in a row. No, he's a rising six-year-old, this fellow. And that's only start 11 today for six wins. And looking at this, how well would he travel in a 1400 or a 1350? He just... Oh. He just He's swinging off him all the way. Mm -hmm. No signs of stopping there. I think he was entitled to get a little bit of a stitch there. Boomtown Lass is very good. She got the stitch 100 <laughs> out a little bit. You know, she didn't drop bit. right away. Yeah. But um, because of the pressure early, it was Sikiji Phoenix running on strongly down the outside to get that second spot. Um, Starboy, no show from him. And uh, Shalwa, she did a bit of work early but dropped off. Defence Missiles run OK, three off the rails there, but he was clearly the best horse in that race. Yeah, really exciting stuff. Can't wait to hear Rob Heathcote's thoughts. But that is a wrap from Eagle Farm. Five beat six, 15 and 10. We hope you found plenty of winners here today and enjoyed the coverage from Michael Maxworthy, myself and all the team. We say good night. Here today at Eagle Farm, Emerald Kingdom. Trainer Rob Heathcote joins me. That was worth waiting for, Rob. Well, it was, Bernie, and I think you coined the phrase early in the day, let's book in the meeting, and we've done that with Bellissimi, and now, you know, he's flying this horse, Emerald Kingdom, and again, full credit to my staff, they've done a super job with him, we've got him to settle and relax today, and a little hot under the collar the first half hour he was here, but Justin Anderson, he rides him in all his track work, and he's just done a super job with him, he's going to be one uh, very happy strapper, I can see him over there now. A couple of questions with him. Why is he such a lightly raced five-year-old? Oh, Bobby and Anne-Marie down at Shipton Lodge in New South Wales, they've, they've got Briambo's gift and they've just sent me another three Briambo's too, <laughs> by the way, and, and I'll tell you what, I like them very much. And uh, we've got a nice relationship with Bob and Anne-Marie and uh, there was nothing wrong with the horse. He was just left out in the paddock to grow and mature and it's just nice to get horses like this. I just love looking at him um, in the run, this massive stride. He's really well balanced. He's got great length and obviously a terrific will to win, but he's an athlete. And, and look, take nothing away from Robbie Fratt as well. He's got a good relationship with this horse. Robbie likens him to Deep Image, similar type of horse, big, strong, front-running style of horse. And, you know, Robbie just kept his patience there today. And, you know, they're good horses. Boomtown, take nothing away from her. She's a very, very good horse, Shalwa. 
and uh, he's made the step from class three grade to class six and he's done it again so good on the horse every chance this horse could reach listed grade well there is bernie i would think not this preparation um i know it's crazy isn't it five years old and, and we've got this lightly raced horse who's now won six five in a row and you know that's a great feat for any horse at any time on any track but uh, he's he's headed in the right direction that's sure. we are dying to know we're going to see him at 1400. yeah probably probably there's an open company race in a couple of weeks over 1400. i think that's the ideal race for him now great work rob on a great day at the races and enjoy the rest of your weekend yeah good on you Vern. well done robbie not bad for an old fella not bad for an old fella at all he's a frisky old fella too well done thanks bernie it was nice um i said to robin Rob and Rob and my other brother Rob. <laughs> Do you want, are you one of the family now? Have you been adopted? That's my dad. That's my dad. <laughs> but, but in saying that, you know, today was his big test, I thought. Um, you know, the 1200 this track is a tester for any sprinter. Um, if it was 1200 across the road, yeah, no problem. You know, but here yeah, was a good test for him today. And uh, cheesy past the flying colours. He's just such a gutsy horse. He doesn't know when to let down and um, doesn't know when to give up. He's all hot this horse and I think Rob's done a great job with him because he's not an easy horse, gets himself worked up and um, he's done a great job and yeah, <laughs> might ask for my retain at the end of the month. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> Let me just talk about the, the way you were able to back it off a little bit in the middle stages because they served it up to you early. Yeah, they did. Look, he's, today he stepped away good. He has stepped away a little, little bit sluggish before, but today he stepped away good and uh, I thought if Steph's got any chance of beating me, she's going to be right there, you know, turning for home. Yeah. And it was just more her getting a spot than her pressurising me. Um, once she got over and I just backed off, she backed off. So um, it worked out well. I got, managed to give him a nice breather mid-race. Um, and he's a bit of a mentor, so we, I just let him stride along just before we, before we turned for home. And he just skipped away and, um, yeah, gave him a couple of reminders and he found more. Vicky said dinner will be ready at seven. Who said that? Vicky. Vicky. Heathcote. At seven. <laughs> I'll just go to Domino's Pizza and grab something. Well done. <laughs> Thank you.